Halloween Hot here, and today I am filming an animatronic review on the Spirit Halloween 2 Scoops animatronic. Now, before I start this review, I do want to mention I have not done a review in a very long time, and that is because of the fact that in my unboxings nowadays, I just include the review at the end of the unboxing so that it's just one big video rather than so many separate videos. It's better just as that. But also, this review right here wasn't actually supposed to be filmed for a review and what i mean by that is these clips being used for this two scoops review i actually filmed back in october it's kind of similar to how i've been uploading like a dead humor and convulsion nurse videos those were filmed back in october but i never posted them then so i posted them recently this was actually meant to be an unboxing, uploaded back then, and then a few months ago when I was getting ready to edit the entire video, I realized I had clips from the unboxing deleted, and I couldn't go ahead and finish the unboxing, so I'm just going to reuse these clips to make a review. So if these clips seem kind of weird, or out of date, or just poorer quality than future reviews or past reviews, that is because this was not meant to be reviewed in the first place. I do apologize if it's a bit unorganized. That was not the intention. So anyways, let's go ahead and start the review on the Two Scoops animatronic. Though these clips are out of date, all my info is with the current date of the prop because this prop actually is planning on returning this year. So we can still talk about it. Regardless, here is now a demo of the Two Scoops animatronic from Spirit Halloween. Give me that! Let go! It's mine! Get your own! For the animation on the two scoops animatronic, both the clowns move their mouths while they both turn from side to side and they lift their arms up and down. Personally, this isn't really too much animation. I think this is about four animations and some of the other SVI clowns usually have three to four animations. So I feel like this does fit very well. They don't have any head turning, which is kind of sad, but it doesn't really matter since there's already so much going on with the prop. So personally, I do think here animation is okay and I think it's acceptable. For Scare Factor, these are two-headed monster clowns conjoined together, holding this ice cream cone with blood coming out of it and a child in it screaming for her life. And honestly, for an average Halloween prop, this is a bit more wacky and cool and also kind of scary, especially towards little kids because there's literally a little kid in the ice cream cone drenched in blood. Honestly, this is a pretty creepy prop. And I feel like the scare factor here is fine. It's a very weird prop. The two-headed clowns feel like a freak show or experiment gone wrong. It's really unique, and honestly, it works well. This animatronic is pretty much your average prop in terms of detail. It's nothing that extraordinary or unique in terms of the detail, but it's nothing less of that. Honestly, the detail is pretty fine for this prop. I like how the clown's heads are actually kind of deformed, most of the time it looks pretty bad on most props, but here I actually like it because it feels more experimental and different. Even the missing teeth look nice too, and just the side patches of hair on the head and the bald top. And I also like the ice cream cone, it's pretty nice texture on it. Even the little girl's face is okay, not the best. However, it's a lot better than the SVI ones. Granted, this is not SVI. This prop is made by FUXing. And overall, it's a pretty nice looking prop. A couple things I want to touch on is the shoes look really nice too. They're really huge and goofy looking. And I've just wanted unique looking clown shoes for a while. So I liked it a lot. And the second thing is that I think the clothing is actually really unique. Most of the time, these clowns just have striped clothing. Here, it's just literally sprinkles different colored sprinkles all throughout the clothing and honestly that's just a really nice touch to help differentiate this prop from other clowns. It's very unique and I like it. If I had to complain about one thing about this prop it would definitely be the quality. Unfortunately it does not hold up to other Halloween props and even to this prop standards. The price kind of makes sense now when you think about the quality. Now, this is just referring to the 2021 version. The 2022 version hasn't come out yet, so we don't know for sure how better it really is. It could be way better. It could be slightly better. It could just be the same thing, just reproduced. Honestly, there's no way to tell just yet. 
but from my experience, the 2021 model is not that great. Unfortunately, SVI, FUXine, WO, they don't really put a lot of support on their welding when it comes to the spirit props. Like if you check the Home Depot props for SVI, they are welded really well and they even have like extra support on it to make sure it holds in place and doesn't break. Even online only props from Spirit like the 2020 Flesh Eater and Gatekeeper, I have those and I cannot believe how great of quality they are because they have extra support on their poles and this prop, two scoops, I left out in the wind, okay? And yes, I understand you can't really keep these props in the wind, so break, they'll snap. And you know, when it snapped, I was like, all right, that's okay, I, you know, that's my fault. But then when I took it inside and I got the base fix, I noticed like it had like five different welds broken on it. And to be honest, it's a little bit too much for this prop. I know windstorms are bad, but it shouldn't have snapped this many times in this many areas. It's honestly kind of sad how cheap the welding is that it comes apart pretty easily when it's knocked down in the wind. It's not a very durable prop. Unfortunately, I don't know if this will get better. This prop is getting a higher price tag, so this might be fixing the issue, but so far, there's no support on the welding, and for a prop that kind of leans over a lot, you kind of need that, so personally, I do not think here. The quality is that great. I've even heard people complain about the arm lifting motion breaking on theirs. I've never had it happen to mine, but my issue is definitely the welding, so the quality here is not great. With that being said, I think the best thing I can compliment this prop on is the price. This prop, when it first came out in like the Graveyard Shift teaser, I thought, and I think everyone else thought, it was going to be $300 or $350. Because with Spirit's other logic on big towering clowns, it's a tall clown. It got a lot of motion. It's got two heads. It's got a huge ice cream cone. We would think that it would be over $300, but to our surprise, this prop was $220. And we've gotten clowns the same price or a little less and they don't nearly do as much as this prop but this guy actually succeeds that price tag and honestly i am really impressed yes the quality kind of makes up for that price tag however that's okay because overall i do think the prop is still pretty much worth it in 2022 it is raising 20 dollars. it's going to be 240 dollars, and it is kind of pushing it a little bit if especially if the quality is not improved if it is that's even better but if it's not then it's kind of pushing it a little bit but it's still not a bad price for 240 if you haven't bought this prop yet I do recommend buying it when it comes back because this prop is going to sell really quick and i do think it is worth grabbing with that being said, that pretty much wraps up my review on the two scoops animatronic from Spirit Halloween 2021 and 2022. If you guys enjoyed, please subscribe for more Halloween content coming very soon. I have a bunch more unboxings, reviews I'm going to do, and I do promise those next videos will be much more higher quality. Again, this was kind of filmed not in the intention of a review, but it kind of turned into that. So I apologize if it's not the best review. However, there will be better content. And if you aren't already, please subscribe because there's definitely a lot more to come. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.